I've got a pneumatic swivel caster here that's got a flat. And rather than just replace the whole wheel, which you could do for 50, 60 bucks, I bought an inner tube and I'm gonna replace the old inner tube and save the wheel. If you wanna see how I replace the inner tube on this eight inch pneumatic caster, stay with me till the end. But for now, let's get going. So casters are undriven wheels that go on the flat bottom of something so you can push it around. In this case, this is a swivel caster. It rotates around. Typically in a four wheel configuration, you'd have two of these and two rigid casters that don't spin. And then you push from the side that has the swivel casters on it. You can steer and go wherever you need. In my business, we use pneumatic casters almost all the time. We find ourselves in the film and television industry, rolling over grass, concrete, up and down ramps, and the best caster for all those situations, pneumatic. I find these particular casters are excellent. They're made by All Good here in Canada. There's way too many of these out there that have like a plastic tire. I hate it. These are an actual four ply rubber tire. They can take between 300 and 350 pounds worth of weight. And when I'm rolling a heavy cart down the ramp on the back of my van, these things hold way better than the plastic tires do. So obviously I want to save it, but changing out the inner tube is super easy. So the first step here is to take out the axle. It's held in with a nylon locking nut. I get the appropriate size socket, slide it over top, put an adjustable wrench on the other side to hold the bolt while I turn, and I slowly release the nylon locking nut, pull it right off. Out goes the bolt and off comes the wheel. I'm going to put the forks somewhere safe and work on the wheel. The wheel hub splits apart, meaning if I take out these four bolts, the hub will just come apart and I'll be able to get at the inner tube on the inside. So out with the socket wrench again, and I'm putting it over top of each of these four nuts. I'm loosening them off. I'm removing the nut. I'm removing the washer and I'm pulling out the bolt. At this point, it's pretty easy to split up the hub. Just pull one side off, pull the other side off. You're left with just the tire and the inner tube. Clearly the valve stem has separated from the tube and left a big hole here. And that's my problem. So I'm just going to pull this out of the tire and I'm going to decide whether or not I want to repair it or discard it. I think I'm going to discard it and then I get out my new inner tube. Fairly simple process here. I just use my fingers to sort of gently coax it into the inside part of the tire and I just push it in without letting it crimp or sit on itself or twist. I'm trying to get it to sit in there nice and easy. And once the tube is back in there, it's just a simple question of replacing the hub. I put one part face up on the table, lay the tire with the inner tube inside it on top of that put the other part on top, making sure to put the valve stem through the hole for the valve stem on the hub. If that's difficult, I sometimes find it's easier to remove the cap. Then I line up the holes, get ready for the bolts and the nuts, push the bolt through from the other side, add the washer, add the nut, do that four times, get out my bicycle pump, attach it to the valve stem, pump it up to the appropriate pressure, and then it's time to grab my socket wrench again and make sure to reef down tight those bolts and it's done. This wheel is ready to roll. It's got to go back on the swivel caster. So I grab the axle and the locking nut, put the wheel in between the prongs of the caster, slide the axle through the hole and use my socket wrench to attach the nylon locking nut on the other side. If I tighten this nut too much, the forks will pinch the caster wheel and it won't turn. Give it a little spin, seems to be pretty good. And now this guy's ready to go back on the laundry cart. Job done. So I'm telling you, it's getting harder and harder to find a caster that has a really nice rubber tire on it. These ones are great. I'm going to keep them as long as I can. That means I'm going to buy some extra inner tubes, keep them on hand for future. How about you guys? Have you ever changed the tire like this? If you have, let me know in the comments section below. I want to hear. And with that, I will say goodbye for this week. Take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.